This year, I believe, is going to be a good year for you. If, if you were born to be a businessman, you'll be a businessman. If you are born to be a pastor, you, you must be a pastor. No, not a prophet. Aye. If you are born to be what? A pastor, you must be what? A pastor. If you are born to be an apostle, you must be what? S stop taking your feet in, inside people's shoes. Can you tell the best? Stop taking your feet in other people's shoes. Because, you know what, I, 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 you learn that don't put your shoes where you're not supposed to put them. I can ask you a question. What makes you think that you are a prophet? What makes you think that? Automatically, you know, the field of prophets is simple. Maybe a man is seeing visions, right? But what makes you think you are an apostle? I don't know if you understand that. And what will make you think that you are a teacher or an evangelist? <laughs> I don't know if you understand. <laughs> huh? from, from now on, whatever name that you have given yourself, can you go and pray? Are you hearing me? Yo, pastors, let's go and pray. I believe if we pray, God will answer us. Huh? You know, unlike to go to hell with a small thing, you find God has called you for this. Because you are seeing your neighbor doing something different, you want to be like your neighbor. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's not how God works. Hallelujah. You people, I want to speak with you, and I know God is going to bless you. God will bless you. This year, if you are called to be a prophet, you will see everything. I don't know if you understand that. But it requires you in living right. I don't know if you hear that. It, it, requires, it requires you in doing what? Living right. There's no man that, you know, will be something before God if he's failing to put his life in order. I don't know if you're hearing that. If you're, in fact, I'm telling pastors, there's no man that will be a good leader if you're failing to do it, to put your life in order. What are you going to teach people in the church if you're failing to put your life in order? Remember, even if you do things in the corner, there's God who's watching you. Oh, you know what I mean? Even if you go and sin here, tomorrow you are, you are beating yourself in front of people. Remember there's God who's watching you. One day, your death is coming. Hallelujah. Your death is what? It's coming. Where now you must go and explain yourself before the one who created you. So please, let's go and do things right. God will bless us. Amen. Oh, you hear me? You tell your neighbor and say, let's go and do things right. And God will bless you. I don't know if you're hearing that. I was telling you last, I think it was last week when I said, we've got a problem of people that they just want things to happen so fast. You know, failing to understand that everyone who must be raised by God must be cooked some way. I don't know if you're hearing that. Huh? Everyone, everyone. You can't just wake up, you, you become... And what is the use of being big? When on the other side here, you are claiming to have Holy Spirit when he's not even there. What is the use of having a big church, brother? And hell is waiting for you. I was telling uh, people that were here, I said, serving God is the key of everything. 
No one in the ministry is too early or too late. Oh, you hear me? No one in what? In ministry is too early or too late. I even gave example, I said, how old was Moses when he started his ministry? He was very old. Huh? How old was he? Now, go and read the Bible. I was telling you, I said, people now, they forget that there's a position, they're trying to be prophets, but there's a position of Moses. Are we hearing that? There's a position of what? Moses. Moses was not a prophet. When I was just crying to see people's names, and say, it means now I've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Clap us for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you are crying to see people's names, where they are coming from. We are not interested in those things. Oh, you remember? Because me personally, I believe someone who is always like this with the Holy Spirit, there's no way that Holy Spirit can tell you things. It's not possible. We are interested in winning people's souls through what God has given us. A church is not a building, brother. Hallelujah. We pastors, can we do things right? Tell your neighbors, can we do things right? I gave you an example last year. I said, if someone, let's say someone rebel, brother, and start his own church. Those who are here, they remember. And there's this one who's still left here. Still saving. Huh? Whatever this one has failed to achieve in 10 years of his rebellious spirit, this one, he has been here for 10 years. The day is released. Whatever this one failed to do in 10 years, this one will do it in six months. I don't know if you're, you're hearing that. Can you leave people that are doing wrong to do wrong? Huh? Are you hearing me? Can we leave people that are doing wrong to do wrong? Every time when you do what is right, you will have a hunger to know God more. You, you, you will have that hunger. But when you pretend to be someone, you will be lost forever. Lost for good. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Can you do things in the right way? Can you speak? Say, say do things in the right way. And let's see if God won't bless you. The more you, you play like you are doing things hiding, it's when God will advertise you. I don't know if you heard that. The more you do your things, when you do your things, do your things, you do what God is telling you. You humble yourself, God will advertise you. But if you are trying to advertise yourself, no one will know you. Many people, they think they will be known because of Facebook, but no one will know you. They will just watch you. The minute they close the phone, they forgot. But something that is done by God is permanent. Ah. I don't know if you heard that. You heard that? Something that is done by God is what? It's permanent. I'm not saying it's wrong. Even me, one day I'll do it. I'll do it if the Holy Spirit is telling me. But can you firstly have the hunger of the Holy Spirit? If you are a pastor, a prophet, a teacher, evangelist, God himself, if he's the one who called you, he will advertise you. He will do it. Trust me. He will do it. Say it.